What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 4 of Breaking Bad. So, last episode, Walter was basically trying to get to know the dude that they were holding captive and tried to convince him, to get him to convince him not to kill him. That was probably the most confusing sentence I've ever said. But yeah, he was trying to get the other dude to try and convince him not to kill him, but then he ended up having to kill him anyway. And I felt bad, because I mean, it's a tough thing to go through, and he didn't seem really happy about it at the end, so I felt really bad about that, and at the end of the episode, he seemed like he was about to tell his wife that he has cancer. I think that's what he's gonna do, but I don't know, so I guess let's get into the episode and find out. How are we liking that? We never used that before, did we? Isn't that the name of a breath mint? What? Icebreakers, right? Breath mint? Nobody's me thinking that. <laughs> some big ass ship in the North Pole breaking ice. Says you. I'm gonna be. But this dude's like the Jeffersons, moving on up. Every small time dealer he'd throw at us, he'd end up snaking all their customers. Now it turns out that he's missing, presumed dead. He Bye is dead. Last guy he ran. And this was cooked right here in the land of enchantment. The car was abandoned in what appears to be a uh, cook site. This is the uh, only other thing left behind. Walt's mask. Now, we don't know who they are, where they come from, but they possess an extremely high skill set. I mean, personally, I think an Albuquerque just might have a new king. Jesus, Walt, you burned the shit out of him. Hey, Sky, you got any more chicken? I ain't having any either. Uh, how about some more soda, huh? Yeah, sure. Honey, do you need anything? Mm -hmm. No, well, thank you. Okay. Right back. So did he tell her or no? Because we skipped past that part or something. Kept bugging her for a date. She kept saying no. Well, I asked you like 50 times. Yeah, it was before they tightened the stalking laws. <laughs> anyway, how, how about your dad here? That there's a good story, Walt. And once I noticed her, it got to be so that I would only go in when I knew she was working. <laughs> it was slow. She would lean against the counter, doing her crossword puzzle. Her word for what you call it? Uh, may I ask what what you wrote down? And uh, well, that got us talking. She looks so upset. Is she about to have a breakdown? Whoa. Sky. Mom. Uh, are you all right? Hey. Hey. Shh, honey, it's okay. So is that he's going to have to tell everyone else that he has cancer? I have cancer. I'm sorry. She just, in a way, kind of forced him to tell everyone else. Because, I mean, like, what else would he say? He can't think of something, like, it's bad. on the spot. I guess a month, maybe, oh, or... For God's sakes, Walden, we're just sitting out there having a cookout like nothing's going on. You made me promise not to tell anybody. And yet you forced him to tell anyone. I mean, everyone. Did I say everyone? I don't know. I talked to my radiologists. We find you the best, the oncology dream team. It's good. But that also good. costs yeah. money. Whatever happens, I want you to know that um, I'll always take care of your family. That's sweet. But I mean, that's also something he doesn't want to hear right now. He's He's kind of hoping he might not die. Why is someone at his house? Don't tell me he's having a. Don't tell me he's having a party. Canada or something imported. Hey yo, what happened to your hallway, man? Uh, did like the ceiling fall down? Or 
Yeah, you know, a body fell through too. Oh man, I think the house is just settling. Didn't he get locked up? No, man, uh, he's out. His cousin bailed him out. I think he skipped town or something. I don't know about any of that. I've just been kind of doing my own thing these days, <laughs> so. But you, uh, maybe got some crystal, man? You know, for like, like health-wise, just lay off. Yo, if you're, uh, if you're not in the sharing, man, just tell us to piss off. It's cool. What if he did just wanted to do it, like, for his health? Why is he looking through the window? <laughs> oh no. He said it makes him paranoid. Who is that? Is it just Walter? Oh. <laughs> That's bad though, like, he ran away and everything. Because he thought it was the freaking biker dudes with swords. <laughs> Don't tell me that your own toothbrush. From here on out, I mean, things are gonna... What's, what's that we're putting on a credit card? Uh, it's just a deposit kind of thing. How much? A deposit? It's $5,000. 5000 You tripping. Jesus. Shit's a lot of money. Come on, don't get hung up on money here. I mean, we can always borrow from Hank. Absolutely not. He doesn't want to have to borrow from people. I don't even want us thinking about money. Money is not the issue here. It's not. But it is. He already knows he has cancer. Like it's some. It's one thing if it was like a maybe a different kind of doctor, but that didn't they say that one was just like a second opinion? What if someone walks in on you doing that? Oh, damn it. Watch them just go around them. He already had his sirens on from like way away, so it's like, yeah, he wouldn't be going after you. What if that ended up being his doctor? Oh, you know he is. Yeah, that man lives in fear. I'll go across town. Hell, I could go anywhere. Hoffman, Gordon, Bradley, or... Wait, he's not even at the doctor. You show so much promise with both. They say they can't have a switch in between woodwinds because no matter how they divide it up, someone will be left out. Well, rules are rules, I guess. Sure, rules are rules. Who even is that? You really shine on that over. Hey, so how was soccer practice? That was in our bag. Jesse. Don't tell me Jesse. Who's there? And it is Jesse. What the hell are you doing out here? Hey, Dad. <laughs> That's hey. his parents? Jake. How far away does his parents live? 
Like, do they live close enough so he can, like, walk there, run there? Does he usually not ever do this? It's kind of feeling awkward here. No conversation. Wow. Like recycle cans and shit. I contacted the Albuquerque Journal and asked what kind of chemicals they used to bleach your paper. They wound up writing an article about it. Right on, little bro. <laughs> Making mad inroads with the business community. All right. You play the flute? It's a piccolo, actually. Dude, play some, uh, play some Jethro Tull. His brother doesn't seem interested in conversation at all. It's, it's great. They just had to leave the door open. You see this? I'm the favorite? Yeah, right. Practically all they ever talk about. So he didn't know that. I mean, the little brother seems to be living his best life and they seem to give him, like, their attention a lot. But, I mean, they are also worried about Jesse. But he is also doing drugs and they know it. So he can, he can draw? I'm assuming that's his. Awesome. <laughs> His drawing of a Mr. White. Why do I call him Mr. White? That's Walter. Cousin, he's got him some rich friends. These dudes are in town, they're looking to partay. And your stuff is like, so sweet. So what do you say? Is he gonna... Is he gonna ask Walter to make more? Oh, you can't be serious. What the hell are you doing here? Yo, I waited. And he just shows up. No offense. I got a wire. Speak into the mic, bitch. What the hell's wrong with you? A wire. Jesus. He's just being cautious. He's also paranoid. Nuts. Then why are you here? They call a debrief. Maybe we could, like, thought we could debrief. Debrief? Wow, that's, <laughs> that's what you think we need, debrief? You know, I saw your way clear to, um, you know, you and I cooking a little more. Now who's looking him back uh, to cook more? It's the other way wow. now. I didn't smoke at all. Walter was being kind of cruel about it because, I mean, he did go to him first. Because I can tell you that the specific course of radiation and chemotherapy I'm going to suggest has been successful. In certain cases, it's prolonged a patient's life and even resulted in remission. So then how much does it cost? Certain intestinal issues. Muscle aches and pains, gums that get sore and bleed. And, uh, of course, there's the possibility of nausea. That all just sounds awful. Anything to say? So they're gonna kick him out about that? We are not going to have this in our house. We need you to leave. They don't wanna kick their son out, but they don't want that kind of shit in their house, but. Thanks for not telling on me. 
That was the kid's weed. Uh, you think I could have it back? <laughs> so he just... Hell yeah, Jesse. I can't believe that shit. He took the blame for his brother and got kicked out. And the little brother's okay with it. Discuss it a little more, that's all. What is there to discuss? You're money. The best treatment. He's the best. Well, there's the money discussion. I think, no, 90 thousand dollars out of pocket maybe more there's god a damn there's, financing. there's uh... am i supposed to leave you with all that debt no. if it doesn't work it would leave them in debt i just treatment isn't the way to go then why don't you just fucking die already <sighs> That was pretty... That's... Who the hell says that to their father? What is he gonna do to that dude? Are you gonna go steal from him, Walter? I don't blame you, he seems like a douchebag, but... Uh, <laughs> no one's seen him do it. I swear, Walter is going through the most this episode. Well, actually, Jesse too. Him with his family, like, he took the blame for that kid. And the brother didn't seem like he cared. He's like, thanks, bye. Like, oh, so you're just going to let him get kicked out? You wouldn't have got kicked out if you would have said something. Like, yeah, you might have get fussed at because you're a kid, but like... Fuck that kid. But Walter, I just I just feel bad because now his his wife is basically making him tell everyone. And like how do I even His wife is making him tell everyone and it's like now his whole life is just gonna be about cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Like yes, it's a big thing. But it's like always a depressing kind of topic and it's like what if it's something he's he doesn't want to talk about i don't know like i feel bad he he's gonna go back to cooking that shit with jesse and i mean i don't blame him because he's gonna need the money since he needs ninety thousand out of pocket <sighs> why can't shit be free if you're dying I don't know. It pisses me off. But I need to see what happens with Jesse and with freaking Walter. Because he just, he just blew up a man's car. And it's like, do they not have cameras? I don't know. But I guess we'll see in the next episode. So come back for episode 5.